Hi guys, and today I thought we'd discuss snap ring pliers and what pliers um, I use and when I use them, the whole nine. So starting off at the end down here, my least favorite and one of the more common snap ring pliers sets where you have uh, little screws and plates that hold the snap ring tips in. I hate them. They're a pain. You got to use a screwdriver. Um, the plates wobble around, get it aligned, get them tightened down so that they hold good. The actual pieces that uh, open and close your snap rings. Yeah, I, I hate them. Next, you can see here we have a multi-piece kit. So here a little bit different concept. You have a pin in the center. So you'll push the pin, rotate this, and then you can remove um, the head off of the unit. So you can go from expanding external to if I can get it aligned here. There we go. doing internal pretty quick um, you know if you're you're not doing it often they work they do uh, the biggest drawback I, I don't like with them is you can see the amount of play in the actual unit so you know like I said they, they do work if you're not doing a whole lot of um, snap ring, circle clips, whatever you want to call them. If you're not doing a whole lot of them, they work. But I just don't like to play. So they typically sit in the toolbox. Moving on, you have your Harbor Freight fixed sets. You know, you just move the from one side to the other to get your external internal which from a price standpoint if I was gonna buy a set strictly on price and you would have the comparison between these these and of course these uh, single unit Harbor Freight ones you know you'll get a, a kit of like four of these or so. Strictly on price. Not going to be using them very often. That's what I would go with. Next. There's this pretty heavy duty channel lock set I have. Made in the USA. So it's nice to find something made in the USA. A uh, little different concept here. We can easily switch between... Uh, internal and external real quick. We're using those same tips from the earlier one, but we're now holding them into a block, a solid block with an Allen. So if you're looking for something made in the USA, that's gonna use the tips from your, your cheaper pain, uh, Player set. This is this is the route to go. I would I would recommend if you're wanting to use all those tips. Um, yeah. So next is my favorite uh, compact set. So here, let's get it opened up here. So here we have internal and external pliers that come with it. And then you have a little box of 
tips. Definitely a different concept than earlier where here we just slide. Um, you can see we're sliding this in to the pair of pliers and then we have a nice knurled piece that screws on there, boom, done. It's exchanged, ready to go, and it's solid. There's no movement. Again, we've seen on the earlier ones where you can change a pin, it's fast, but they're kinda, kinda cheesy in the aspect of their, they move around, where here we have a solid connection. Also, what I do love about this pair, right on it for one, it shows you uh, if it's for used for external or internal, of course, here these are for removing internal. Two, we'll unscrew this back out so we have the straight edge. We have a 90. You know, you screw this in now, we're locked into a, a 90 configuration. And we'll screw her back out here. And then we have a 45. So, all in all, if I was going to buy a set that wasn't going to see common use, and I was worried about storage in the toolbox, these OEM tools, circle clip pliers would be what I would go with. You know, again, here it shows this is the set you use to remove an external snap ring. They're nicely made. They feel pretty solid. Uh, I think I got these from either AutoZone or Advanced Auto, so they're pretty easy just to go down the road and, and pick yourself up a set. You know, they're not the, the cheaper Harbor Freight, but... Of course, they're not the, at the other end of the spectrum of, of Snap-on, but again, it gives you that 180, 90, and 45 position. Easily, you can exchange the ends. So, yeah, highly recommend these. Love these. Moving on down, of course, here I have a fixed snap-on set. So pretty straightforward, just like uh, you've seen with the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh set. All you are is moving, wow, that one's tight. Yeah, may need a set of players just to move some of these. There we go. So you're just moving, you know, from one side to the other to change between external and internal. Yeah, they're a lot better quality than the uh, Harbor Freight Pittsburgh ones. So these are good for, you know, if you're, if you're wrenching as a mechanic every day, you know, you can quickly grab a set of these and get the job done. And they fit nice in this tray, in your toolbox, so you're not digging through a whole bunch of pliers to find, you know, what you need. So, so yeah, I hope, hope you guys found this video useful in that aspect of things, of picking out, you know, the proper set of snap ring or cir circle clip pliers for you. Again, I don't go with these. These work, but they're kind of flimsy. Pittsburgh ones um, do the job and are easy to use. Yeah, I'm not gonna say they're gonna be great for the long term, but if you're looking for cheap ones, that's the route I would go. Next, if you were wanting to reuse some of your tips from the older one, these channel lock ones definitely do that. 
the OEM ones all around set. That's what I would go with every day. Uh, long term, every day use, you're going to want the snap on set. Other than that, I do have one other pair here. And as you can see, this is a Craftsman with an adjustment here. You actually turn and it expands the jaw and closes the jaw. This type of set, uh, you're only gonna use in close quarters. So what this does is give you the ability, you know, if it's a snap ring inside of a tube and you gotta compress that snap ring to get it out, this is the set you're gonna use for that type of scenario. So it's hard to use. Um, it's gonna be something you're probably gonna to have to special order. It's not gonna be made by Craftsman now or in the USA. But uh, you know, if you need a, a set to get in a tight area, this is what you're gonna to have to use. Again, it has that old pane of a style here with these plates and and screws to deal with. But yeah. I mean it works, but like I said, it's it's a pain. So. so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. And again, gonna say, pick yourself up one of these OEM circle clip snap ring pliers. Uh, this is the one I recommend. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more episodes.